YouTube, the tube on the internet. Welcome to 2023, the cyberpunk era. I'm going to compile a list of the top 10 vehicles that everyone needs to have in GTA Online. So this is just a disclaimer that this is my personal opinion on the quote unquote best vehicles to own. But let me tell y'all something. Each vehicle on this top 10 list of mine, I'm going to link me using it full out in action against tryhards, against griefers, against players who are trying to come after me. So you guys can have a full out experience and so you guys can witness me using it in action. Action. so it's not just me copy and pasting some wikipedia guide <laughs> and it gets the job done so without further ado let's start with number 10 the oppressor mark ii all right, all right, I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but hear me out, guys. This is actually still, to this day, one of the most versatile overall good vehicles to get from point A to point B across the map. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you're a grinder, if you guys are trying to do the preps and everything like that, I would recommend the Oppressor Mark II. It gets the job done. If you use it against players, that's when you turn into a rat, so you don't want to do that. But, you know, it's simple. You can blow everything up with it, all the NPCs and the missions and everything. It, it's just fast. So, I'm not going to get too deep into the Oppressor, but obviously, no. It has a flare system, the chafes. So the Mark II costs 3.9 million, unless you got the trade price, then it's 2.9 million. Coming in with number nine is the Vigilante. Come on, who doesn't like the Batmobile? It's fast. It got the booster 9,000 on it. Decent missile tracking. The missile tracking is way better than the Oppressor. You know, you can obviously have some fun with it. It's not the best, but it's still a really fun vehicle. I believe the Vigilante can hold 30 missiles and has the same machine guns as the Ruiner 2000. Honestly, overall, it's not too bad. All right, number eight. Now it's starting to spice up a bit. I gotta say the Torador. This bad boy is gonna cost you $3.6 million. You can drive this on land and underwater but here's where things start getting good it takes six homing rockets or two rpgs to blow up the torador giving it a much better defense than the stromberg or even the deluxo it has unlimited missiles and i gotta say the missile tracking is actually really clean you can also use the torpedo missiles underwater and the machine guns but the main prize of this bad boy has to be the ground missiles number seven the night shark okay hear me out this 1.25 million dollar bad boy is super fast for an off-road vehicle an armored off-road vehicle potentially a weapon off-road vehicle. All right, don't judge me for this, but I'm gonna let y'all know some scummy tactic that I used to do. I, you know what? To be fair, I've done this recently too. Sometimes people do deserve it. You can throw a sticky bomb on the back of the night shark or even the front. And, it can, you know, it can kind of turn into a, a movable explosive vehicle. So you just put a sticky bomb on the front or the back and then you go straight up to someone and then you detonate it. You know, they die <laughs> and you're Gucci, bro. Uh, okay, yeah. Don't go too crazy with that though. Coming in at number six is the Kasatka, Kyo Perico's finest. You know, I've made over a hundred million dollars using the Kasatka, um, but we're not focusing on the money-making aspect of it right now. We're talking about how we can use this in free roam. And the way is with the guided missile system, but all you got to do is swap out the seats to the seat right beside it, and you can bypass the cooldown. There was a time where a bunch of tryhards were like trying to come after me. There's a video of this. I would shoot the guided missile, then I'd swap to my second seat. I'd shoot the other guided missile. They tried orbital striking me, but I would keep moving my submarine around the map and everything. So, yeah, obviously use this to your own discretion. Uh, I gotta say you can have a lot of fun with the Kasatka. Just don't be too annoying with it. Number five is the Ruiner 2000. This $5.7 million vehicle is out of this world. I'm pretty sure it costs somewhere around $4 million if you do the trade-in price. But long story short, the missile tracking is one of the best vehicles in the game right now. It's even better than the homing launcher, and it makes it impossible to avoid. If I'm not mistaken, though, the launcher can only hold eight rockets. But here's where things get even better. So what you got to do is you got to start up the CEO mission fully loaded. In the mission, you got to pick up a ruiner, and you just got to use that one. <laughs> no one can lock on you with this mission-specific ruiner, and it can tank multiple explosions. I don't know how many. All I got to say is stay tuned for a video when I drop this. Number four the oppressor i call it the walmart oppressor even though it takes 100 times more skill than the oppressor mark ii but i gotta say i gotta give credit where it's due the original oppressor is really satisfying when you actually get kills with it but it costs 3.5 million unless you do the trade-in price i think it's like 2.5 million but yeah it doesn't really have crazy cooldowns like the mark ii you can hold 20 missiles with it and i think it shoots four homings at the same time so uh, overall it's a fun vehicle and i highly recommend it number three i gotta say the deluxe so you guys already know 
know the amount of action I'd be doing with this in my videos. Y'all cannot sleep on this bad boy. The Deluxo costs almost $5 million with the trade price. I think it's 3.5 million. You know, it's a two door, you know, no one cares about that, but the tracking is really good. The missile tracking, no one's going to be escaping you easily. I can assure you that. But here's where things get a lot more entertaining with it. You got to change your first person view to hood view inside vehicles and you can trick shot. Like it's hard to explain, but you can perfectly destroy players on the ground with it. You can fly up and in first person, you can get the perfect vantage point for shooting missiles at them and they can't even lock on you. They can't aim at you easily because you're directly right above their head. The only thing is that there's a limited capacity of 30 missiles with the Deluxo, but honestly, 30 is all you need and all you got to do is replenish it and you're good to go again. Number two, the Scramjet. Mmm, yeah. Y'all did not think I was going to put number two as a Scramjet, huh? Okay, once again, these are my personal opinions, so I don't want y'all ragging me in the comments, but if you have other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, the Scramjet costs $3.5 million and it's really similar to what you can do with the Deluxo. So in your first person settings, make sure it's set to the hood view and it's a really hard vehicle to maneuver. I'm not going to lie, it took me a while and I'm still a noob at it, but I assure you, give it time, practice, and you're going to be a total beast with this bad boy. I'm still trying to get better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and number one. Now, before y'all start booing me, hating on me in the comments and everything, hear me out, okay? The Chernobog! Okay, hear me out, guys. The Chernobog is by far the most underrated vehicle in GT Online. One of the best vehicles in GT Online, and it's a tank. It's a beast, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Firstly, the Chernobog costs $3 million. $3.3 million at Warstock, or with the trade-in price, $2.5 million. It has unlimited missiles. The tracking's really good. You know, all of that, right? Now, what sucks about the Chernobog is that it's literally a two-shotter. You can blow it up with one or two missile hits. It's done. But this is when things get 10 times better. You guys got to start up the heist prep Chernobog. So I believe that's from the Doomsday Heist DLC. If you can start that one up, no one can lock on your Chernobog. It's a lot stronger, actually. The missiles have a longer missile range. It's, it's honestly the full package. Like, if you guys don't believe me, watch my video. I made a full in-depth guide of how to do this, how you can pick it up and you can throw it on top of a building in the right hands and with the right experience. It's an amazing vehicle to have. The amount of things you can do with it is kind of wild. <laughs> but yeah, I guess this is my top 10. Yeah, what y'all think? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people won't like these, but a lot of these are underrated choices. And if you guys want me to make more top 10s like this for helicopters, for aircrafts, you know, like all types of vehicles or even weapons, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to see all of my top 10 vehicles in action, you guys got to check my videos out if you haven't already. But I just wanted to wish you guys a New Year's and um, see you on the next one. Peace.